opportunistic. But... But you can't be here. I can't be seen with you. That's your cry. Not now, Kachucky. We're busy. Kachucky? Kachucky, Arla. Oh, you fucking talk to me like that again. Fine. If you're going to be a big baby about it. You shut the fuck up. Infected, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. I don't like that at all. An unseen oh. blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazelle's. The Zathisk's psionic forces batter Lazelle's thoughts. There is no chance she will survive this unscathed. Yes, child. Speak the Talakat. Meditate on its verses. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? Is she gonna die? Get out of there, Lazel. You won't survive this anguish, I think. She can hate me later. I need a four on guidance, or a, let's say I get a 19. I need 11. Seven. So I need either a 19 and a 4 from the guidance roll, or I need a... I need a nat 20. Fuck. Fuck. Is Lazel dead? My wife Her will die if she remains. Yes, child. Jamar Zala Blackith call to your queen. <gasps> My queen. Hear me. Get her away from that thing. Now. Your vision narrows. You sense myriad spectres of Githyanki past. This is their fate. This is their anguish. You must listen. The device is changing you. You are becoming a lithid. 30 again. Uh, I need a nat 20? Or a 19? No. Lazelle's fucked. Lazelle's dead. I've killed my wife. Uh, fuck. I am becoming pure! Yes, child. Face her will. Your marrow quakes within your bones. Behind the pain, a new sensation rises. Power. Remove her. What? You, uh, tried to overload it. These are all fucking. I, I can't. These. The arcana is the only thing I'm fucking proficient in. That's criminal. Criminal. The Zathisk overwhelms the both of you. The weight of the astral sea crushes your mind and spirit. We're both gonna die. Shadowheart, why you've got a fucking face like that? Gone. And yet she lives. And so does her parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge. An obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. The parasite lives, yes, and thank goodness it saved her. That'll serve two things. Well, one thing. It might show Lazelle that maybe we do need the parasite and she'll let us fucking bail from here. This one. We'll start a fight. 
I know it will. Or I can just pretend. And we can have that conversation with Lizelle later. <laughs> yeah, fine. Really? Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power? <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, the problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. No! I must, I must be cleansed! That was too close. You were lucky I was there to save you once again. Do you want to steal this thing while she's up here? I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zathis might have killed me. Someone must have tampered with it. An aberrance I can't begin to comprehend. My cell. Who could have tampered with it? There must be a Sharlak in this crash. A traitor. The sort that is hunted, slaughtered, and erased from our histories. Few would dare dishonor their queen. Fewer still would be so brazen. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Zathisk's tampering. Lysel, maybe it did what it was supposed to fucking do. She's looking right over there. I wanted to steal it. Can I stand over there while Lysel talks to her from this side? Go on. My time is vital. Do not. If everyone else minds their business. I'll be fine. Hey! And Can I check this out stats? Right, so we've got minus two on constitution, intelligence, and wisdom. But if she would eat one of those things, it might go back. But now I have to just fucking convince her. Because she doesn't want to. There's fucking more of them? What? A parasite brimming with magic. Take it. Now she's looking here. Go. <laughs> My time is by. Oh, my hand slipped. My hand slipped, did you say? <laughs> Has to be said though. The thing exploding is gonna be a hell of an end to an episode. Gosh. Hello, Warrior Voon. Is Stick are permitted to view the birthing pools now? Yep. These are strange times. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. I thought a hatchery would have more eggs, no? Most are hatched. Only one remains. Monitored by Vash Kok, the caretaker of our young. You may speak to the Vash if you wish, but stay away from the egg. There will be no second warning. Where is this Varsh? Okay. How do I... Hey, Shadowheart, maybe don't stand in the fucking gas. You can tell Kithrak Therazin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Uh, Hello. I was not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? I'm just having a look around. I heard you're waiting for one last egg to hatch. Failure at the first hurdle of existence. Most caretakers would crush it and be done. I sell. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance. But I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You know that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Why do you care so much about one dud egg? Sure. Oh, we made it anyway. Not all that arrived late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool. 
if it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. I don't want to steal the egg. What will happen to this egg if it doesn't hatch? Therizin will give orders to destroy it. She will say it's a weakling. I'll give it a while longer. And if it doesn't hatch, it will have proven her right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like, <laughs> but, like, is... If I take this egg out of, like, the kindness of my heart to make sure it doesn't get killed... Is that not just going to lock me into the selling it to that fucking society? Like, I'm hardly just keep a child with me. Give it to me. And he's roll a ten. Good. You? What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? My wife is Gith Yankee. Still, the captain's due for inspection any day now. And if she sees it here... Tell me. What will you do with it if I entrust it to you? I'll make the best omelette you've ever tasted, Alistair, for fuck's sake. I just feel like maybe I should have a conversation with Lizelle before I decide to adopt a child. <laughs> I'd raise it as if it were my own flesh and blood. That's what I feared. Still, I'm sure its nature will pervade, even if raised among lesser species. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here, take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Varsh Koku's boots. All right, folks. Wait here. I'm gonna talk to Lizelle, and she's gonna be like, "What the fuck did you do that for?" <laughs> I did it for you. Be the burden of a Vash, not a warrior, whether ascended or otherwise. And yet, I'm drawn to the warmth of it. A child of Gith and a servant of Vlakith grows within. Keep it close. Perhaps in our care, it might yet hatch. And don't you dare pass it to that lunatic woman prowling the mountain pass. Maybe we killed her. <laughs> 